Hello, how are you, Sandra and Jenny? Hello, sir. How are you, Mr. Kvias? I'm doing great. How about you? How was your day? Ooh, so busy. Really? Tell me about it. Yes, well, um, I have to um, to receive some some relatives here in house, and uh, um, I was working very hard with the. Uh, um, Confia and Crescer IFPS, you know, mm -hmm. uh, there are, there is a very a very difficult uh, process to to enter uh, for register our people who are working with us. Oh, I didn't know. I thought it was fairly straightforward and easy, but no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. It is not that easy because they um, ask many many documents and and sometimes it is difficult to have it in the, at the same time all you know okay okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i so it's probably easier for the people to register themselves then yes uh, but we want to help them because they don't know how to do it okay well that's important because you know if they if they work with you they need to make sure you need to make sure they have all of the things that are required Yes, you know, uh, but uh, people come without uh, all the documentations. But now it, it is necessary because uh, the government is very strict now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Each time they're requiring you to do more or what? Um, or it's, it's just a matter of paperwork? Uh -huh. It's the uh -huh. Yes, because they have to get to the PNC. Uh, well, the police, you know? Yes. Uh-huh. And, and then um, their antecedentes penales. I don't know how to say that in English. Okay. Their background? Oh, uh -huh, their background. Uh-huh. And also the the data sheet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, yeah. Actually, quite a bit of information that is required then. Yeah, of course. And, and also, they, they need to have a carnet from uh, the BMT. The visa ministerial they transported to, and well, you know, uh, people is very um, how how can we say atenida? Um, the <laughs> the people are really the people wait a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they wait for the last minute. Mm -hmm. Of course, that is the problem. Okay. Uh huh. And the police is is stopping them uh, on the on the road, you know, and and they um receive a, a fi fines mm -hmm. for not having everything in order uh-huh yeah of course that's why okay well that's great that's actually pretty nice of you um mm -hmm. to be able to help them and make sure that you get everything uh you know it's not always easy to get everything but that's good that you're helping them out yes of course <laughs> i know okay perfect well i it's great to see that many of you are here today that's wonderful, wonderful news. So let's go ahead and take a moment to discuss yesterday. Were there any questions about yesterday's tips or information that we read or the videos that we saw? No? Not exactly. No, no, not at all. Okay. Okay, perfect. So as you remember, there's a couple of ways that we're looking at it. Um, we were looking at factual information and non-factual. Um, there are two types of questions, and there's different techniques for each one. When they're looking for information where it says except all of the following and, and not including, that means that you're going to look for information in the reading, but you're going to try to find the information that doesn't match. So if you see the word uh, big and tall, it matches. If you see avalanche and uh, natural disasters, they match. These are the ideas. So you're looking for the things that are exceptional. Those are the ones where we're talking about negative factual information. Factual information is the opposite. This is where they have the information and you need to find the one that doesn't match. Okay. The important thing is you need to focus in your, your job is not to understand all of it. Your job is to find the answers. That is the most important. So 
if you have the answer and you say, oh, I don't understand this word. Okay, in this class and for practice, it's not a problem. But in the exam, don't get used to trying to understand the entire content. Try to find the information specifically that they're asking you for. Today, we have several questions. We're going to try it out with our partners. There are going to be five questions, and we're going to have a few minutes for each of them. We're going to make pairs so that each of us can get to it. Number one, we're going to do an example to make sure that all of us understand how to do it correctly. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you, and then we're going to make little groups into our breakout rooms to practice. So the first one is here in negative factual information. This is the first part. Okay. I'll make it a little bit bigger just to make sure that everybody's able to see that. Okay. Is that better? Can you see that? Yes. Yes. Very. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. I'm glad. All right. So the first section we're going to have um, Jenny read and the second paragraph we're going to have Walter read. Jenny, can you please read the first one? Walter, the second one. Now, before we begin reading, let me accept, let me explain to you what is a good technique to get used to. One of the techniques that helps you is before you read, always, always read the question and read the options because as an exam technique, you want to know what you're looking for. You don't want to read and then I, I'm looking for this. No, before you begin reading, you already want to know the objective. You want to be clear what it is that you're going to do. That is the most important, okay? So for this part, Julio, can you please read the sentence and the four possible options? Of course. Um, number one, um, the author mentioned all of the following as source of primary documentation, except government reports, travel accounts, graded journals, history books. Okay. So now we know that because of the question that says except, we have to find three of them. And the one that we don't find is the answer because it says except. That is the, that is the clue. So now we're looking for government reports, travel accounts, trade journals, and history books. Okay. Let's take a look here. Okay. Paragraph number one. Where is the senior colonial North America? Was one of complex cultural negotiation and explosive interaction among Native, Native Americans, Africans, and Europeans. History book how portray the settlement of North America as a unilateral pass or Europeans into a virgin land. Although primary documentation, government reports, travel accounts, trade journal, all great room for a uh, European. European mm -hmm. pers perspective, perspective. Mm -hmm. is filed with observation concerning Native American custom and belief history books are more interested in outlining important bar bar Okay. Ethno ethno history historians, the scholar who blend anthropology and science with historical research to produce a cultural understanding of the past have been making advances in understanding the Native American perspective on European colonizations. Okay. As you can see, it's not a common topic for conversation. It's okay. not that you go to uh, uh, to have a coffee and say, hey, what was the idea for North Africans uh, immigration to... Uh, no, it's, it's not a normal topic. But we don't have to understand the topic. We have to identify the four things. What were the four things we were looking for? Government reports, travel accounts, trade journals, and history books. 
let's take a look. Do you find government reports? Do they talk about government reports? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So then that one, that is not the answer. What about travel accounts? Do they talk about travel accounts? Travel accounts, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. What about trade journals? Do they talk about trade journals? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. There is. There is. Okay. And history books? Do they talk about history books? No, there is an exception. Okay. So no history books, right? And here, what is this? History books are more interesting. Mm. Uh, <laughs> that's a, an explanation only okay all right so here the author mentions all of the following as source of documentation here history books is not documentations because it says they are more interested in outlining important battles Okay, so we have a, an idea, right? That's what the partner says. So you click in with your partners, you read and you discuss and you say, hey, Julio, uh, for me, here it says history books, but I think it's not because in here is only mentioned, but it doesn't say they get the information from there. Okay, and then uh, Walter agrees or this in a, doesn't agree. And the idea in this moment is not to answer quickly, but to answer with good knowledge and clear ideas why it's correct or why it's not correct, okay? If you don't agree with your partner, it's okay. You don't have to agree with your partner. You can say, hey, for me, that's not right. For me, it is right, okay? So super easy. All we have to do is decide with your partner if you agree, you don't agree, and practice using the different techniques. In this moment, we're going to make what are called breakout rooms. This means we're gonna have little rooms where each are going to be in a part with your partner. So we're gonna have small groups and with your partners, you're going to complete the exercise, okay? So we're going to have between three and four people in each group. Is this the first time that you have breakout rooms or have you participated in breakout rooms before? We have that. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. So you understand how it works, right? Perfect. So with your partners, what are you going to complete? Very good. We have, we're going to complete the other sentences, like the ones that we have, you're going to read, and then you're going to choose which one is the correct answer for each one. Just like we did, we chose letter D, which was the correct one. Okay, so this is negative factual information. Okay, with your partners, you have two, three, four, five, and questions. We already did number one, so you have four more. We're going to have approximately three minutes, three minutes with each one. Why? I would like to give you more time, but you have to start feeling the pressure of time. You have to read, get the answers, next. Read, get the answer, next. Okay? okay, I am giving you a little bit more time than normal, just so that we feel comfortable. When you do the little by little, when we continue, we're gonna have less and less time, but for you to start to feel more comfortable managing your time. Okay, okay? so in this moment, we have 12 minutes to complete the other four activities with our partners. Any questions before we begin? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh I would like to know if you share in the screen, the screenshot to watch the information or we need to enter to the link on the, uh, uh, the Interpro Corporativo. Ah, or we need to enter the link. You enter into the link? Yes, you're going to enter into oh. the platform the, okay. the, from Inglés Corporativo because you need to register that you worked and it has to be completed for you. So Walter, for example, can share the screen. Yeah, that, that, that is the, the question. Uh, do you give a permission in order yes. to try to share my screen or the screen of the class, right? Yes. This okay. is, I, you have, you, I can, you are going to be able to share the screen. It's not a problem. Okay. But okay. everybody has to complete in their platform because if not, only Walter is going to have the grade and the others yeah. 
even if you work together, is not going to be registered for the other people. Yeah. Is that okay, Julio? Sure, sir. Sure, sir. That's okay. Good. Great. Great. Any other questions? No. No? Okay, <clears throat> perfect. Then let's do it. We're going to have with our partners. Let's go for it. Pati, you okay? Sandra, did you have problems connecting? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um... And what is my group? I, I will send you to another group and we'll try to connect again. Okay, Sandra? Yes, yes, please, please. Okay. Uh, but I have already uh, saw the the exercise uh, today in the morning, so it's going to be a little bit easier, but we can practice. Okay. Oh, that's cool. But, okay. Then, Julia, I would recommend another person share their screen with no answers. That way you can really practice and not only identify the answers. Yeah, but the thing is that I am the only one that can share right now because they are uh, having problems and also uh, with the phone. Uh, okay. Well, it's you're not going to practice the best, but at least you can try together the idea for yeah. the readings. Okay? Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me know. Let me know if you can do it or I'm gonna see if it loads on my end. We're having some technical issues, sorry teacher. What are some of the issues that you're having? How can I help you? Um, Yancy is sharing her screen, okay. but it seems like she cannot quit that pen, like to to scroll down, I guess, in her in her screen. And my 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 platform is not loading. Well, I'm trying right now, so to see if I can share my screen instead. So Yancy, try to scroll down. Let's see if you're able to do it this time. I guess now it's fixed because I don't see the pen anymore. Now? <laughs> yes. 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 I'm ready. Yes. Yes. I'm yes. Ready. You can go up and down now. Perfect. Yes. Okay. okay. We're going to read. Oh. Uh -uh. Okay. Who's going to read? Okay. Um, or their hands against the sharp edges of the oyster. Cheers. Mm -hmm. And then, 
in which they collect the oysters. Are you guys having some problems or difficulties? Against the sharp edges of the oyster shells in the planet in which they collect the oysters. These nets works one on a diverse next so as beside the risk of injury and to ensure that medical assistance is ready, right daily available. No amount of caution can alter basic facts. Even the best trained horse may panic. Motorcycles give little uh, protection in a crash and a hard driving golf ball can go astray. Okay. Oh, that answer gave you gesture that the teacher yeah, yeah. It was storms. <laughs> storms. Okay. Go ahead, Carlos. Okay. Per perhaps one of the most has hazardous ways of making a living from the sea the sea was was diving for was diving for pearls. Only the most daring will risk their lives in this profession. The technique of pearl diving was simple. Divers attached themselves to ropes that were, that were used to keep them in contact with an assistant on board the ship. Attached to the attached to a different rope were Probably the bird. Right, it says when she oh, passed mentioned. away I'm and when the novel was written. Mm. Yeah, because no mention the the bird. The bird. Uh -huh. Right, it doesn't mention that. The bird. Okay. Okay, the next Fine. one. Oh, oh, that's that's it. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Well. Mister, we had a problem with this number four. Thank you. That's four. Yes. Uh, we are divided because uh, <laughs> Catherine says the contact with assist uh, an assist of board. Um, Anna says the oh, oh the opening of the holster. Mm, I, don't know who I think it's a collection of oysters. Ah, sorry for that. Uh, she say a uh, collection of the sister. Uh, Catherine say the opening of the o oysters. But okay. I'm rereading. Let me reread that. Yeah, reread it. Take a look. It mentions what are the following of the pearls divers underwater activities. So they talk about things that they have to do underwater. Do they mention collecting the the oysters underwater? Right. No. I mean, they say that they collect the oysters later on, but okay. they don't mm -hmm. do that underwater. What about opening? Do they open the oysters underwater? Mm, no. So it can't be both of them. It's one or the other. Which one do they do? Collect on the... Okay, collect the oyster, but don't mention underwater. Mm. Are you sure? Because if you I look... I they do this... open the oysters to take out the pearls. Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah, because it, it is during active. Yeah. You, you can open the hostel underwater. Okay. okay. So then the final decision is the opening of the oyster. Okay, the opening of the oysters. All right. Check them. I don't know. I don't know what you say. Catherine. <laughs> yes. Anna. Uh, okay, okay, the opening of the oysters. Guzman? Yes, the opening. The okay. Okay, yeah, the next. Put enviar. There you oh. go. Ah, if, you, if you click siguiente, you're going to go to the wrong, you're not going to have it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. perfect. Okay. All we right. Hey, not too bad, right? Fairly easy? Mm -hmm. Fairly. 
Okay, now that you understand that, take a look at the reading. Write down vocabulary that is new for you or vocabulary that you might need. Why? Okay. It's not part of this exam, but it is necessary that you are able to comprehend it later on because these are the type of vocabulary and structures that you're going to have in your exam. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the vocabulary is very specific for different areas. Uh, you had some about the the oceans, some about the uh, gone with the wind, about books, about authors, mm -hmm. uh, some about sports. Or all of them are a little bit different. They try not to include a lot of technical vocabulary, but they include a lot of vocabulary that is not common to be used. That's going to be the difference. Okay. okay, got it. All right. Were there anything that you didn't understand and you say, no, no, I, I, for me, I didn't understand this part or this word. Everything else is okay. I'm not sure it's for the train, but it's difficult to love the patient. Uh -huh. It might be because of the rain. I usually find that if you click the little arrow on the top right corner, there's going to be like a little box. Yes, that arrow right there. That arrow is usually easier to load than the image. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then you don't have to start Exactly, and you can stop the other one and it makes it easier. It might be the internet because of the rain. Right now it's raining quite hard yeah. or it might be a slow connection or different reasons, but mm -hmm. whenever you're not sure, you click the little arrow and then you can continue for the next one. Okay. 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 All right, oh, go back. We Your microphone is off. I can hear you, Cole. Uh, I can hear you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I said, was everybody able to finish? In the group that I was, they they just finished right at the end. Um, The other groups, were you able to finish? Yeah. Yes? Excellent. Yes, we finished. Okay, perfect. On time. <laughs> On time, yeah. As you can see, and... This is the idea. The idea is to push yourself, push yourself every time less, one minute less, one minute less, because you're going to have to do the activities. You're going to have maybe uh, to more or less average about one minute and 30 seconds for each question, two minutes maximum. And then you have to learn how to balance the different things. Okay. Yeah. Walter, you okay? You look a little stressed. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's the first experience uh, okay. really against on the time, but it's so <laughs> difficult to me. It's so difficult to me try to comprehension the paragraph, but identifies the keyword. That's the, key. the yeah. clue. Identify the keywords to use your yeah. time and go to the next. Identify yeah. and go to the next. Okay. Thank you tell uh tell us be, before uh in the answer there are the and the question there are the answer. Ex exactly, exactly. Yeah. Which is the great thing. The great yeah. thing is that in these types of questions, it's not open. It's not for interpretation. It's not ah maybe this maybe maybe no. Is the information is there? Is there? If the information is not there, that is mm -hmm. the answer. Yeah. That is, the, that is the great part. So yeah. let's check. Just to make sure that everybody, in case anybody have a, had a question, you can ask me. Number one, we, we know that it was history books we did together. Number two, they're talking about the Civil War. Uh, Winslow, uh, Homer did except photography, right? He did all the types of work except for photography. They talk about uh, poetry and illustrations, and but they don't mention the photography. 
And here, according to this passage, regarding sports, all of them are risks, except for one thing they didn't mention, storms, uh -huh. right? It's possible to have an accident, it's possible to fall, even the avalanche for skiing, but the storms, they don't mention them. That was the one for that. Here as well for the divers. Um, this one, I heard one group discussing between the collection of oysters and the opening of oysters. And I want to clarify because here, here it says which they collected the oysters, but where the discussion is, is if it's underwater or not. We know that it's underwater because the person is the divers. So the diver is goes into the water and they, they control themselves with the nose clips. And that's how we know that in this moment, they are there in the water. And here, the opening of the oysters, we know that is not underwater because here it says, when the divers signal the intentions to surface, similar to the idea of surface in Spanish, okay? That's where the oysters were then open. Remember, then means after that. So they were opened after they went to the surface. Okay. So that's how we know that it's not underwater, the activity, it's above water. And then the last one, the idea about Mitchell accept her birth. Because here we don't have any information, uh, all the relevant dates. Oh, we have the family correspondence and we have how many languages and the Pulitzer Prize, but they don't talk exactly about the birth date. Any questions for any of these? No? You feel ready to do the opposite? <laughs> now it's the opposite. <laughs> okay, so we practice how to find the information that is missing. Now, all of the information is not, all of the information is only one of them is there. Now it's the opposite. Remember in the other one, three pieces of information went there, one was not. Now is the opposite. Three are not and one yes. One piece of information is there. How do we know? Here's the key word. According to the passage, this means not my opinion, not my knowledge, only for information from here. The information from there is yes or no for this, okay? Now, as you see, we have one, two for paragraph for the first reading excerpt. Then we have another one, two for the second reading. That's four, well, three, so five, the same idea. But now the time is going to be the same. You are going to have 12 minutes, the same 12 minutes, but you have to answer the five questions, the two readings. It's okay, the same time, but now you just have to push yourself to go a little bit faster. Any questions? We're gonna change groups. That means you're going to have new partners, but the same thing. The idea is, answer all the questions that you can. Yes? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's do it.
Vane, did you have problems connecting? I'm sorry, I got an issue with my connection. Uh huh. I, I listen, your connectivity is a little difficult. We'll try again. Let me put you to another room. Thank you. Okay, let's try again. Both were used. I guess okay. because we're done. I wasn't able to to read a few words, but that's nice. Okay, no worry. Mm. Read the questions. Okay, <laughs> number one. According to the passage, what achievement did Bor Borglum pride himself on? A, the four presidential faces in granite or granite that he had sculpted. B, the removal of 90% of the four, 450,000 tons of rock quickly and a relatedly, relatedly eh, low cost. C, his safety record of no deaths or serious injuries during the, the years of work with heavy equipment and dynamite. D, his skillful training of the labor force that enabled blasts of, of dynamite to be within inches of the contour line of the faces. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's the purpose of the, the questions. Uh, 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 I think it's what is the, the principle or main achievement? I think. Periodically. Periodically. Right. Okay. It says on the last paragraph that on, over the winter, the water melts and it creates fissures on the rocks, I guess. And then every autumn, they do maintenance work. The series of our team, the series has to resonate. Okay, one of these. Can you read? Uh, uh, yes. We can read all okay. because the time is. I think it's sure, very okay. for. To preserve is Prepare. Uh, for future generation, the repairs, sweet. Uh, yeah, repair periodically. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay, now for the second one, it says, according to the passage, the dispersed finds from Teotihuacan indicates that, and we have the options, the city is over 2,000 years old, the city had an estimated population of as many as 200, uh, let's see, 200,000 inhabitants. The residential areas extended throughout the urbanized area. The city greatly influenced the surrounding areas. Um, see, do you have the answer for that one? Let's see. Disperse. Well, that is a lot of information. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm. 
Wow. 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 Como la primera, um, los the people migrate to another city. But the event responds to our population. A depletion of resources and okay. adversaries. Um, maybe the B, I suppose the population of the city started. Yeah, I. Se moría de hambre. Es also not clear. Ha venido a un día. Ajá. Bien. Ok. Uh, the next one. According to the passage, the symmetrical layouts around the avenue of the death. Ok. The number D. 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 The yeah. indicate that the city layout was planning before building began. Okay, so let's check. No, la mande, mami. No, the number, the number two is is is. It's another one. <laughs> another one. Yes, yeah. I put in the layout around the it's the dead. I guess it's the letter A. Because... It's the city to section one of which had a apartment one. compound for the living. Include the primary axis of the sea. Mm -hmm. Was planted it's before the building. Yes. It's the first, the first one. Yes. 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 Okay. Try it. Let's try. Oh. Mm, okay. Second question that is first finds from the Tokyo communicates that the CB had an estimated population. Realization mm. is Okay, I'm glad most of us are back. Great. Okay, 
I saw that in this one was a little bit more difficult. I saw many groups had several answers that were a little bit wrong. And this is for two reasons. One, when you feel the pressure of the time, you make a decision because you make a decision. You're like, I know if we don't make it, <laughs> this is normal. When you feel the pressure, good or bad, you say, ah, so we have to pick one because we have the limited time. It's okay. That's why we practice now. We practice now to learn how to make better decisions and how to control ourselves. This is one. And the other is because the questions are designed to make it similar so that yeah, if you didn't read in this case, if you didn't find it uh, exactly, it's easy to misinterpret for the information, okay? So let's check together to make sure that it's clear for everyone, okay? Let's take a look. Here, according to the passage, what achievement did Berglum pride himself on? I think this was the easiest one. Uh, the first part, most people got right. It's the second paragraph that many people got wrong. But what was the first one? Letter C. Letter C. Thank you. Okay. What about number two? Letter D. Letter? D. D. Okay. Great. Now, let's stop right there and help you manage your time. I saw some groups, six minutes, and they were still doing the first one, number one and two. That is why in the second part is part of the problem. You take too much time in one and not have enough time for the other. Remember, you need to learn to balance your time. If you have five questions, then you have to think about, okay, we have two Three minutes maximum. If it's more than three minutes, it's the same. You choose any letter because you don't know the answer, right? If you feel that you can take uh, the best decision, if you have a little bit more time, believe me, it's going to happen in all of the exam. And then you won't have time for all of it. Now, let's take a look at part two. Okay, let's make sure. Remember, oops. Let me share one more time. Okay. So we answer one and two. This, we should have taken about five minutes to answer this. Why five minutes? Because in the next one, we have three questions, not two questions. And we need the other time for that. Right? Here, what did we have? According to the passage, the dispersed finds... Uh, the Tiguan Khan indicates that. What do you think? No. Mm -hmm. Letter. Letter D. 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 Okay. What about number two? According to the passage, which of the following statements? Okay. Letter D. D. D again. Okay. And the last one, number three. D. Letter D. 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 Okay. Interesting. So we think that the last one's all D. Look. That is correct. D, D, D. Huh. Right? Great job. And then number one and two, C and D. Okay. Now, what is the technique for this one? Remember, in this one, it's different than the other one. In this one, according to the passage, that means that only this information, the, great, the city greatly influenced the surrounding areas, is in here. The other information is not in there. The same for this. What's going to be the difference? Remember, according to, you look for the information, except you look for the things that are not there. And now we have the final one, the inference and rhetorical questions. This one is a little bit different. In the case, hmm, it didn't load. 
let me try reloading. Maybe it's my internet or I want to make sure it's, uh, okay, there we go. So in the inference, you read it and you try to understand what they're referring to. Look, we have four questions, but if we look at the paragraph, it's fairly small. Okay, it's not very big. It's only a little bit of information. But from this paragraph, these five lines, we have five questions. So let's read it together to make sure first we're okay. Yancy, can you please read the paragraph? Don't worry, Yancy. I know some of the words look confusing. It's okay. It's okay to mispronounce them. <laughs> it's okay. The Malawa pie hornbill, hornbill. Usually mm. nips in the fruit trees. That beer is full. First, the female enters a hole in the tree at shear her feather. Then she and her mate shears the hole with mud and dung, leaving a crack through which he feels her. When the chicks hatch and her plumber plumber return, she breaks out, resealing the nest toward the young, which emerged later. Maybe. Okay. I what? don't understand anything. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> don't worry. That's what we're gonna work on the techniques to it's Chinese. Help. It's almost okay. like Chinese, right? Okay. Okay. Let's take a look. For you, what animal are we talking about? About an animal? Um, about a? Seal. Um, uh, about a, a bird. bird. Okay. About a bird. Why do you think it's a bird? Here it doesn't say bird, but why do you infer it's a bird. This is called inference. Because it mentions feathers. Correct. The and word also they live in trees. Uh-huh. The feathers gives us the information that it must be a bird. Mm -hmm. Right? So here, number one is probably a, a, bird. a bird. A bird. Okay. That's exactly what you're going to do. You are not going to find the information exactly. You have to get the idea what they are talking about. For this one, we're going to take a little bit less time. We have numbers two, three, and four. And we're only going to take six minutes with our partners to answer them. Because we already read it, only a matter of discussing and trying to interpret the ideas. Okay. So now with your partners, we're going to interpret and try to answer the remaining ones. Any questions? No. No? No. no. All right.
Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Were you yes. able to come? Yes. Were you able to finish it with your partner? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Let's take a look and make sure that we have the right ones. Okay. So it, what was we, sorry, let me try to share this with you. There we go. All right. So we said number one was C, a bird probably, right? Yes. Okay, good. We're talking about trees. We're talking about sheds its feathers. Good. What about number two? What would be number two? And the number one uh, could be seal. I mentioned the paragraph. Yes, it could be. But seal is not actually correct. It's a mistake of the platform uh, because we're talking about the fruit trees. Ah, okay. The female enters a hole in the trees. And mm -hmm. if you think about a seal, the seals don't go into trees. Yeah, yeah, yes. right, you're right. Mm -hmm. But okay. you are correct. In here, in the platform, there is a mistake. It's wrong. It's it's mistake. Right. <laughs> yes. Exactly. In the it's platform, wrong. they gave you the letter, the C yeah. should be correct. C. But in the platform, yeah. if you put C, it yeah. is not correct. It has to be B. Mm -hmm. So the correct answer is C. But for the platform, we need to place B, okay? B. What about number two? What can be said about the hornbill's nest? Number two, uh, letter A. Yes, because they say that the feathers are inside with them, right? They shed. Yeah. Number three. Letter C. Let her see. Exactly. She is there with her eggs. Yes. And the last one? Letter D. D. Letter D. Because she uses the feathers. That's the idea. Not use anything else. Right? So, as you can see, those are the correct answers. But letter number one for the platform is B, but is not correct. And I don't want to confuse yeah. you with the interpretation. Is not correct okay. in the platform. If yeah. you have this on the test, it would be a letter C. Okay? Well, I would like to thank you for today. Here we have a few practice exercises. Tomorrow we're going to have a practice test for the reading section. Before we do the test from the platform. We're going to practice together and try to do everything nice to use all of the knowledge that we got. Okay. 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 Sir. Thank all right. You Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Have a great night. I see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good Good night. Night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.